Okay, welcome back. And now let's do example one. And we're going to use um, <coughs> sum and difference formulas to find the exact value for uh, trigonometric functions um, given angles that, you know, aren't, uh, aren't ones that we know, right? They're not one of those typical angles that we know from the unit circle, right? Like this one, pi over 12, right? But how, but we can use the sum and difference angles to rewrite this into something that we can find the exact value. So for this one, they want us to find the exact value of the sine of pi over 12. So we're going to use the fact, right? So we're going to use the fact that we can write pi over 12 as the difference between pi over 3 and pi over 4. Right? And if you don't see that, then just look. Just, uh, you know, we could do, um, write this as 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12. Same thing. Okay? So these two reduces to these two. And we know how to handle these two. Right? So let's, let's do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write this as equal to sine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4, right? Now, we're going to use the uh, identity, right, for sine of u minus v. So what is that? That's sine u. Right? Sine u, we'll call this u and this v, right? So sine u, which is pi over 3, cosine v, which is pi over 4, okay? And so since it's a subtraction, sine keeps the sine the same. So it'll be minus, and then we flip it, right? So then it's going to be minus cosine u, times sine v, which is pi over 4. And now, we know these, right? So we could just plug in the values and simplify, okay? So the sine of pi over 3, which is 60 degrees, right? So that's going to be what? The square root of 3 over 2. And then cosine of pi over 4, which is 45 degrees. So again, that's going to be what? Times square root of 2 over 2. Or, hold on. That's not right. That's going to be um, cosine of pi over 4. That's going to, oh, that's going to be 1. I was right, square root of 2 over 2. And then cosine of pi over 3, that's going to be 1 half. And then the sine of pi over 4 is, is going to be square root of 2 over 2. It's going to be the same thing. And so now we simplify square root of six 
over 4 minus the square root of 2 over 4. And then the best we can do is combine these in one fraction. And we'll write this fi the final answer as the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. And that's the exact answer. Okay? All right, have a great day.